Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Matuni Nikki here, and today we're taking a look at another one of these crazy ass fanboys. And uh, this one it goes by the name of Shin Shaman, who claims that Bayonetta 3 sucks. And uh, yeah, you know, if you guys are down for that, you ready for that? Let's get into the video and roast this motherfucker. This is a fucking outrage! I just. I can't do this anymore, man. Just when I thought that gaming was had a sliver of a chance, a sliver of hope of getting put back on track to the quality standard of the 90s and early 2000s, an amazing, astounding gaming era that I personally grew up in, and all the other Apex Alpha gamers such as myself, but then Nintendo slaps me with even more bullshit! And it just isn't fair! Ah, why am I blessed? Or should I say, dismissed with so much misfortune? Oh. But before I dive into those facts, make sure you retards are donating, supporting, following me over the Twitch, doing the basic fucking bare minimum. I stopped making content because you retards refuse to support. I've been way too lenient with this YouTube bullshit and you people really think you can just get away with this shit? You cookie cutter, bum ass, freeloading ass frauds? Alright, we're starting out strong here, guys. The first thing you should always do when you're making a video, you know, or when you put something up on a platform is insult your target audience that you're putting your videos up for to see, okay, and entertain. The first thing you should do is freaking insult them for not donating to you. Um, first of all, the entitlement from you for you to think that your audience owes you any kind of money or that they should donate to you, and if not, they're pieces of shit and they're horrible human beings, is retarded. That's the same thing DSP and Wings of Redemption was claiming and saying their freaking viewers and subscribers should do just because they sit here and all they do is play fucking video games all day instead of getting up and getting a fucking real job and thinking people should just it, hand them out money or something for free, okay? It's like when Wings of Redemption was talking about how uh, it's going to be $10 an hour for him to keep playing Call of Duty, a fucking game he's not even good at. The entitlement from people like you and them two is beyond me, okay? Don't no one owe you anything on this platform, alright? It's your people's choice, your subscriber's choice, whether they want to donate to you or not, okay? Even if they have the money to it, it's their choice. It's like me coming on here, putting a video up and saying to my subscribers, Oh, you guys should fucking uh, watch my videos, like, subscribe, and donate. Otherwise, you're pieces of shit for not doing it. No, that's not how it works. Let's move on. When you have a favorite sports player or a music player, you financially support them in some meaningful fashion. You donate, right? Or you watch that, you buy their music. But me, you motherfuckers try to shower me with compliments, don't do that shit. I'm going to just ban you. If, you. if you've never donated, then shut the fuck up. You got all these people trying to say, I love your content. Um, Please upload this, make a video on this, this and that. Never seen these motherfuckers donate. Like, what type of logic is that? If I fuck with somebody's content, I'm going to support. So you freeloading backwards ass motherfuckers, monkey face bastards. Like I said before. Say that shit you just get banned. I'm sick and tired of you motherfuckers. I've been way too lenient on this platform that clearly doesn't reward the type of amazing quality that I produce on a daily basis. And it's all your fault. I mean, this direction is coming to an end. You people had your chance. <laughs> and the wheels are already turning. Because guess what? The change is now. What the fuck is this guy talking about? I... <sighs> the kind of mental gymnastics you have to do okay the kind of fucking hoops you have to be jumping through in order to come up with stupid shit like this is baffling to me so if you don't donate to him then you guys are fucking monkeys bottom feeders you're fucking surface dwelling pieces of shit you know all of you loyal subscribers of his okay by the way this dude has 900 fucking subscribers and i'm sure they're happy to hear that all you loyal subscribers of his, you guys are all fucking bottom feeding pieces of shit who, you know, if you don't donate to him, then guess what? You guys fucking suck, so. I, I don't I don't get how people do this, man. A troll channel, and I don't, I don't get how the hell you sit there and you insult your audience, you know? You're nothing without them. You do understand this, right? Demanding them to pay you and to watch your fucking videos... Okay, that you probably barely put any effort in, and even if you did, it's their choice whether they want to support you or not. 
And I like how this dude is just sitting here spending about two and a half fucking minutes just sitting here insulting his viewers and shit instead of actually getting into why Bayonetta 3 sucks. I love this. I, I can't. Let's move on. You people had your chance and you blew it! You blew it. Now this is a new declaration. A new era of higher quality content. Either pay or it ceases. Simple as that. I made this video right now because somebody paid. Simple as that. You people are just the bottom barrel, the bottom fucking tier. I just do so much for this industry. I expose so much garbage. I put so many people onto quality. You people just could never do what I do, even if their life depended on it. If somebody hit a gunpoint to your head, and the only thing you had to do was spit facts and expose trash like what I do on a daily basis, you might as well kiss your fucking life goodbye because that ain't never happening. Doesn't even take any effort when I do it, but when you people do it, you start foaming at the mouth, start choking, start having suicidal thoughts, start acting on those suicidal thoughts, start developing autism, start, these, start having leptic seizures and shit. Like, you people are just not there in the head. I really feel bad for you people. I really, um, you know, you people just will never match my amazing sophistication. Ever. A, pro a prolific, profound individual such as myself who does nothing but bring amazing quality to this world on a silver platter. Somebody with so much refinement. Somebody with so much innovation in his brain cells. Stimulated to the highest degree. You people could never do what I do. It's been nearly four minutes, man. Four fucking minutes, and you still have not described why Bayonetta 3 sucks yet. You haven't even mentioned it or Nintendo once yet throughout this this whole video length so far that we've been seeing. It's baffling to me how someone can just sit here and watch this shit, man. This is so fucking stupid. What are you even rambling on about? All you're doing is insulting your audience, okay, man? I don't understand how people can sit here and really watch this shit. How does he have 900 subscribers, man? Like, I know that probably sounds a little bit messed up to say, but I'm like, I'm just genuinely curious how he has 900 fucking subscribers. And are you trying to tell me that all 900 of those, or at least a fair percentage of it, maybe like 50% of his subs, actually enjoy and like his content? Because, like, I know hate sells and everything on, like, all platforms, especially, like, YouTube and shit, man. But, like, this is, like, fucking bottom barrel of, like, hate. Like, come on, man. This is bottom barrel of, like, hate videos. There's barely any effort put in, and all he's doing is insulting his viewers and his subscribers. So I'm just genuinely curious. Do people, like, like this? Do they get off to this shit or something? Or are they just curious like me, and they like to, like, sit here and fucking watch him and just roast his ass because he has some stupid-ass takes about some crazy shit? I'm just, like, genuinely curious, man. That's all. I don't even know, man. Let's, let's move on. Not even in a thousand years of, of training could you achieve the level of sophistication that I exhibit in an hour, in a day, in a minute. Hell, this video itself is proof of that fact. Nothing but the truth. Call a spade a spade. You people can never call a spade a spade. You people are just fucking pathetic. I mean, you people are hyping up garbage like Bayonetta 3. And Platinum Games is another company like shitty Dark Souls uh, from Software Activision. They're another company, Platinum Games, that get away with making the exact same fucking game. I mean, Bayonetta has always been a cheesy, corny DMC clone, admittedly, but all they did was take the, the concept of DMC. And Platinum Games and From Software do not release the same fucking game every single year like Activision does. First of all, every single Call of Duty since fucking 2012, okay? The last good Call of Duty was Black Ops 2. After that, every single Call of Duty has been pretty much the exact fucking same every single year. And Activision are now starting to pay the price for it. Just look at Call of Duty Vanguard. This will probably shape up to be one of the worst Call of Duties, if not the worst ever. It is fucking bland, boring, and repetitive as hell. Like every other Call of Duty has been. And it seems like people are just fed up with this shit. It's literally a copy and paste of the same COD from last fucking year. Cold War. Okay? And fucking, for you to claim that Bayonetta and Dark Souls are the, the, the games and fucking franchises are the exact same each time they come out is honestly stupid. 
Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 are graphically, fucking fundamentally, level design, the enemies, all of that, they're completely fucking different from each other in each way, from how they play to how they look and feel. The same way with Bayonetta 1 and 2 to an extent. Like, this is so fucking retarded, man. This is like, you cannot change a fanboy's mindset. This is what they believe, so. And of course you're gonna have these retarded, contrarian fanboys. How can it be a copy when it was made by the same person who gives a shit? It's the exact same fucking game. And this is another game like Nier, right? Another shitty Platinum Games game that that's only popular because of the female protagonist. Because she's like scantily clawed or whatever. Nothing to her. Gameplay wise, story wise, just another generic character that all the cucks and incels like to jack off to. Bayonetta and Devil May Cry are almost nearly different in the way they fucking play and feel, okay man? What the fuck, dude? I shouldn't have to be telling people this shit. They were made by the same people, first of all, so what the fuck is the point and what is wrong with this shit, man? Okay? Of course, Hideki Kamiya made a fucking action game similar to Devil May Cry. He made Devil May Cry. What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. Okay, man, no one cares whether Bayonetta is a fucking copy of Devil May Cry or not. And for the record, it's not a copy. They're completely different action action games in a sense. Yeah, sure, they're fast-paced and shit and everything. But the way they play, look, and feel, okay, are completely fucking different. The stories are different. The characters are similar but they're different to an extent come on man this is so fucking dumb and this dude claims that freaking platinum games games like near and bayonet are only popular because they have female characters who are he can't even fucking pronounce the word clad right it's not clod you fucking idiot it's clad <laughs> i love how this dude said clod this you can't even fucking pronounce words properly man like come on fix your fucking grammar dude oh my god this is just this is really fucking sad man i mean you know a game is bad when people are more focused on people drawing hypothetical fan art on twitter than the actual gameplay you got so many cuts i can't wait for all the fan art not saying shit about the gameplay and the gameplay is complete garbage just typical garbage ps2 two, 2004 god hand gameplay and you know a game is bad when i'm comparing it to something that was made 20 years ago that just goes to show the lack of innovation. I mean, this was a reveal trailer, and they had nothing to show for it. A reveal trailer, if they really had something to show, they would have showed something up their sleeve in the reveal trailer. But all they showed was generic cookie cutter, hack and slash, button mashy gameplay. God of War Edition. Oh my god, dude. Sexy female character in, in scantily clad clothing and fucking bikini or, or fucking high heels and shit and looking good as hell is fucking bad. Oh man, dude. I feel, I feel like this guy would probably like fucking, uh, he would probably like Abby from The Last of Us 2. You know, a big, buff, burly woman, you know, fucking <laughs> transgender woman, you know, and everything, man. Because it doesn't seem like this guy likes his female characters looking sexy in games or movies or anything, man. This dude seems really pissy and upset about that. Okay, man? And calling us simps because we enjoy shit like, listen, man. Listen, we're not simps because we fucking enjoy this shit, okay, man? When I play a game or I watch a movie, I like to see something that looks good, okay, man? Especially when I'm playing as a female character, okay? I don't want to be looking at some fucking ugly-ass fucking character or some beluga whale or some shit, man. I want to look at something that's actually good to look at when I'm playing my game and shit. I don't see what the fuck the issue is with that. <laughs> what the fuck? If I'm, apparently, I'm a fucking simp for that or some shit. I don't, I don't know. And then he goes on a fucking tangent talking about how, oh man, all they do is talk about the fucking artwork and fucking Rule 34 picture shit of her. And I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? A lot of people were talking about the fucking gameplay and shit as well. Yet he claims they weren't. If you go on the comments on the fucking reveal trailer though, you could see people were talking about the gameplay, how good the graphics look, how good Bayonetta looks, among other fucking things. So like, what the fuck was your point? And then he said that at the reveal trailer, they had nothing to show. If, so why the fuck did they put a reveal trailer out if there's nothing to show? They literally fucking showed and announced the game and some new elements in it where it seems like you get to control demons and shit. They showed off a new fucking like a graphic engine to an extent. It looks like the one that's running on Astral Chain. And then they showed off the fucking the new looking health bars, some new enemies. What the fuck are you talking about? They showed off Bayonetta's new design for the game. 
So like, yeah. what? What? What the fuck are you even talking about, man? They. Oh my god, dude, this is so fucking dumb, dude. Why would they put a reveal trailer out if they had nothing to show? They had plenty to show in the trailer. Dude, this is some fucking next level fucking tryharding fanboy shit, man. This dude is just trying so fucking hard to find reasons to say this game sucks and to hate it, man. <sighs> but you love to see it. This is fucking pathetic. But this is what you losers hype up. This is what you people champion behind. I'm telling you, man. Somebody of my amazing faculties... Somebody of my amazing sophistication, amazing declarations, amazing, astounding, profound S-tier content that I provide can never be seen fucking with a trash game like this. I'm telling you, man, Kamiya is a complete hack. He does not have the revisionist quality that I have. He can't compete with me. That's why he's always blocking people on Twitter, because he can't, he can't accept criticism. I could expose him right now. What the fuck is this guy talking about, man? Dog talking about somehow Hideki Kamiya doesn't have a vision or, or something like he does, and that he could get him exposed right now. If he, what the fuck is this dumb shit that I'm hearing, man? What is this? This dude is delusional as fucking hell. He's probably just as, if not a little bit more delusional than Young Defiant himself, man. I swear, these two have to be related, man. They have some weird fucking YouTube god complex, I swear. This is like a whole fucking saga, man. They're, they're like some freaking villains in some comic book. What the fuck, dude? This dude talking about some how he could get Hideki Kamiya exposed for some weird shit. I don't know, man. This dude really think he has power over the world or something. I'm I'm really thinking this guy is some kind of fucking troll or something, dude. There's no way anybody really shuts on the camera and believes the shit that they say like this, man. There is no way, dude. What the fuck? Alright, so that's gonna be it for the video today, guys. You know, uh, I cut the last two and a half minutes of the video out because all this dude did was spout some random bullshit again about how he's freaking great, cool, how you guys could never be like him, and how his viewers could never be like him, and how, uh, people who call themselves fake gamers, yet they all they do is stream, some random bullshit, okay, man, if you wanna go see the rest of it, okay, uh, the fucking, this guy's YouTube channel name is Shin Shaman, but I'm trying to tell you, man, it's, it's, it's nothing great, it's nothing important, this dude is pretty much just fucking young defiant, okay, man, so if you're down for that, you're down to see some stupid cringy shit like that, I, whatever, I, you know, um, ooh, excuse me there. I mean, like, listen, man, I don't want to give this guy no ad revenue or nothing, man, but it's it's whatever, you know. I guess he's probably just trying to chase that bag or whatever, you know, saying stupid shit. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, you know, like, subscribe, comment, you know, all that good stuff. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.